If you're looking for an AI chatbot for your WordPress site that has a generous free plan and is really good, well, let me show you JotForm AI. Now, I'm going to show you how to fully set it up on your WordPress site so you can start using it right away. Now, this is the plugin, and I already have it installed. I do recommend that you jump into Add Plugins and install this one, AI Chatbot for WordPress from JotForm. Once you do that, you're going to be able to get started with the process of setting up your first chatbot. Now, before we get started, let me show you the sponsor for this video. So if you are looking for a managed WordPress hosting, go ahead and jump into the link in the description, go to services, manage hosting for WordPress, and go to their pricing. They have really great plans that you can get started right now. Plus, they now include AI features inside of the hosting your plan, which is super awesome. So if you go ahead and check out this one, which is the business plan for $3.99, you're going to get a lot of features with this, including the AI agent inside of WordPress which is a different feature that can let you manipulate inside of WordPress and other AI features that are going to be bundled into this. So let's go ahead and choose this plan because I'm going to show you how to apply a coupon code that's going to reduce the price even more. Now, the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to be in advance? I recommend the 48 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price, lowest real price, plus you'll be good to go for four years. Now, this is the current pricing, but if you click on have a coupon code and you type in my code or paste it in and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. That's using my coupon code Four years paid off with all those limits. that are going to be bundled into this hosting plan, including the AI feature. So use my coupon code. Okay. So let's go into the installation process of the job form AI chatbot. So let's get started. And first thing you need to do is allow access to WordPress to connect with a job form. Be aware that if you are not logged in, it will ask you to log in. Okay. So let's get started. Now we have two options available. We can describe the chatbot. So we can get started from scratch or we can select an agent that we previously created in the job form dashboard. But in this case, we're going to stick to this one. So I'm going to use a feedback chatbot. So let's go ahead and continue with this. But I do recommend that you take some time, create a great description for this chatbot so it understands what it needs to do. But in this case, it's going to use that demo data so you understand how to get started. So let's give this a few seconds. OK, we are good to go. We now have our chatbot ready. We can select the avatar straight from here, and I'm going to use this cowboy just for testing purposes. His name is Felipe, but we can go ahead and change his name right here. Then we have the agent role. This is what it needs to know because that's how it's going to behave. Look, like in this case, Felipe is a client feedback specialist. So if that is not his role, then go ahead and change this because this is going to affect how he's going to react to uh, questions. Okay. Then we have default language. These are the available languages as of this video. The tone of voice, there's three options available. I wish they had more or the custom tone of voice, but they only have these three options. So friendly is my choice. Then we have the greeting message. If you want to keep that, that's going to provide a greeting message in the beginning that might captivate your audience. Okay. Then we have the chattiness. So when it responds, do you want it to be minimal or super chatty? And I recommend this that if you are providing support, go with chatty like support with a lot of detail into it, chatty. If not, short or long would be the sweet spot, okay? Then your chat guidelines. So in this case, this is what the bot is going to guide itself with. You can add more guidelines here in case you want to set something there. So maybe, you know what? You are a 42-year-old or a 50-year-old male and speak like such. So don't go using words like, I don't know, like a surfer or like a kid or something like that. I mean, you can decide how you want to use those guidelines. Then we got the agent style. You can change the color scheme here. So if you don't like the colors that it's using by default, go ahead and change it here. You can change every single color available there. Then the visibility options. So you got layout for minimal and extended. Extended is, well, what you're viewing right here, which is like two buttons to get started or the minimal. I like minimal, but it depends on your use case. Then the position. In this case, I'm going to set it to the left because you might have something already on the right. In this case, my face. But I mean, you already might have something going on there. Okay. Then the open by default, do not open automatically. That means that this is how it's going to appear unless you click on it, or you can set a timer for this or always open. It's up to you. Then the visible, visible on, so all devices or just mobile or desktop and advanced visibility. So you can set which pages this will be visible on or if you want to hide on. So maybe the contact page, you don't want to have the chatbot because you already have a contact form that's really good. Well, go ahead and disable it on the select page and select the contact page here. Just is an example that I'm showing you. And you can add multiple pages for hide on and for show on. Okay. 
Then we have the knowledge base. Knowledge base is my favorite part of the AI chatbot because you can actually give it a lot of information here based on what you want it to have as details to respond with. So you can add knowledge manually by typing in details. You got upload documents, PDFs, etc. Crawl URLs. So you can set URLs from external URLs about products, about details, etc. Go ahead and add them there. Questions and answers. So if you already know that someone is going to ask questions, then provide the answer beforehand. So it's a really great option here. Now, by default, it's going to analyze your website. So it's going to crawl the website. You can see here, it's actually crawling at it already and reading the pages and posts for having that knowledge for your uh, chatbot. So it's going to get super smart as it goes along. So it's super easy to set up your chatbot. If we're good to go, go ahead and publish. Here we go. Let's go ahead and preview. And here's Felipe. Let's get started. And I can go ahead and chat with him. Now, JobForm has a generous free plan. So it's a definitely great choice. But if you jump into the pay plan, this is fantastic. They have several features available. That's super cool. So the AI agent limits are going to be right here. So you're able to create five agents, 100 monthly conversations, 10,000 monthly sessions, etc. cetera. You're, you're going to get this with the AI features, which I think is pretty cool because it's on the free plan. So definitely check it out if you plan to install a chatbot on a WordPress site. And if you plan to grab a hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code from Hostinger, which is SASMaster with capital letters. And that's a wrap for setting up the JobForm AI chatbot.